So if Joe Biden doesn't remain in the race, if he gives in to pressure, which Democrat would pose the biggest threat to Donald Trump? It's hard to answer that. The one who would not pose the biggest threat is Kamala Harris. She is as weak as Donald, she is as weak as Joe Biden in the public opinion polls. Her favorable rating is in the 30s. Her unfavorable rating is in the 50s. She has a very difficult time stringing three coherent sentences together. And when she ran in 2020 for the Democratic nomination, she was so weak that she had to drop out before the Iowa caucuses the first contest. So she would not be the strongest candidate. Who knows? There are a whole host of center-left Democratic governors who could be very strong candidates, but we don't know who would be the strongest. That's the whole point of having a contest between now and the Democratic convention. Who do you think some of the front runners would be? Well, Gretchen Whitmer is the governor of Michigan, a key swing state. Josh Shapiro is the governor of Pennsylvania, another key swing state. But there are a number of others. Andy Bashir is the governor of Kentucky. Uh, Jill Polis is the governor of Colorado. Uh, Roy Cooper, the governor of North Carolina. There are a lot of governors who could be very, very strong candidates if given a chance to rise up, but they won't rise up until Joe Biden gets out of the way. Now, Donald Trump is yet to name a running mate. In fact, time's ticking for him to do that. Who would be the best pick for him, according to the polls? Well, it's hard to know exactly who the best pick would be because the people who are being mentioned don't have nationwide name identification. In 2016, he picked Mike Pence because he was very weak among the Christian conservatives where Mike Pence was very strong. If he follows that same pattern, he'll take one of the candidates who have more credibility in the Republican establishment, the governing wing of the party. Maybe a Marco Rubio or a Doug Burnham would have more credibility and more uh, favorability among the people who aren't particularly wild about Donald Trump. Now, it's obviously no secret that Donald Trump has problems of his own, given his recent legal battles. With that in mind, how important will his vice presidential pick be? His vice presidential pick will not be the decisive factor. The vice presidential pick will be primarily important to unify the Republican Party. But Donald Trump is such an overwhelming presence that people will be voting up or down on Donald Trump, not based on who's vice presidential candidate. Whit Ayres from North Star Opinion Research, thanks so much for joining me. My pleasure. Enjoy being with you.